Hey guys, this is Rusty and I'm gonna show you how to build this medieval carriage which you can simply add to any of your cities or even some of the main roads outside those cities. But let's jump straight into the tutorial. We will start by making the front wheels out of some deep slate tile stairs. So let's create the plus shape by placing down two stairs just like this and another two stairs on top of those. Then just do the same for the other front wheel, keeping a one block gap between them. And after you're finished with that, create the back wheels by doing the same thing but leaving a two block gap between the front ones and the back ones. Now with the wheels done, we get to the floor of the carriage. So grab some of your dark oak slabs and place them on the top level of the wheels so that they are upside down, filling this 2 by 3 and then adding one more block in the front just like this. Now is the time to choose on which side of the carriage you will have your entrance or you can have it on both if you want. But on the side you've chosen, replace the slab right here in the back with an upside down stair facing like this so that we can now grab a ladder and place it on top of it. And to finish the floor, grab another stair and place it in the back right here. And then with some dark oak signs connect the wheels to the floor by pretty much surrounding the whole thing just like you see right now. So four on this side, one in the back and then three on the other side where we already have the ladder. Next use three spruce slabs as the seats in the carriage. Now we get to the walls. We will start in the back by placing an upside down spruce stair, then a dark oak stair also upside down in the middle and another spruce stair next to that. After that you can go to the front and do the same thing just right here. Then grab your trapdoors, you'll need spruce and oak ones and place spruce ones above the spruce stairs you've just placed and the oak one above the dark oak stair. Also, don't forget to do the same thing on the back. Next go to the side you decided your entrance will be on and place a spruce door above the ladder and on the side towards the back, next to the door, place two spruce trapdoors, but in a way so that they are on the outside block resulting in this kind of layered look. And on the other side of the door do the same thing, but for the upper trapdoor use a dark oak one instead of a spruce one. After you've done that go to the other side of the carriage and mirror the trapdoors we've just placed on that other side. Grab another spruce trapdoor and finish the walls by placing it just like this. I just want to say that I put a lot of effort into making these videos for you guys. So if you're finding them useful, definitely leave a like. Now we get to building the roof, which we will start by placing two rows of three dark oak trapdoors on both sides just like this. Connect those rows by placing an upside down dark oak stair in the middle, then an upside down slab and another upside down stair to connect those two sides. Now grab some more dark oak stairs and place them against those just placed blocks and finish the roof by putting some slabs in front of all those stairs. Now to complete the design as a whole, grab another dark oak slab and place it in the front just like this for the driver to sit on. 
and on both sides of it, place dark oak signs. And finally, to attach the horsepower pulling this carriage, add two dark oak fence gates in the front attached to the wheels. This is the survival part finished, but if you want to add some decorations and you are in creative and have access to commands, you can summon in some horses that won't move with this command right here, which you can find in the description down below. The only thing you will need to tweak yourself is the rotation of the horses, which you can do in a quite straightforward way, by opening up your F3 menu Face the way you want the horses to face as well, and look at the line where it says facing in the beginning, and remember the second to last number on that line. And now in the command, type that number as the first one in these square brackets. Now the command will spawn a white horse by default, but you can change the variant by changing this number according to this quick table right here. And spawn those in just like this. Now if you also want the driver of the carriage that I had in the intro of this video, give yourself a command block by typing slash give, then your player name, and then typing command underscore block. Place the command block against this trapdoor just like this. Paste the other command you will find in the description into this command block. And hit this needs redstone button, so that it changes to always active. Now press done in the command block, and you should have your driver summoned in. You can now again remove the command block. And that's your carriage complete. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like and I'll see you next time.